Hey, good morning, Woodbury families and students. How are you doing today? I'm here with my son, Max, and uh, we're going to read a Wildcrats book to you. Max, you want to take it away? It's called, Wa it's called Wildcrats, Wild Dogs and Canids by Martin and Chris Crack. If you watch the Crack Brothers, it's one of our favorite shows on PBS. They have some ser they have a series of books, and this one just came out. And uh, did Martin or Chris read this one? Chris. Chris Crack read this one a couple weeks on Facebook Live, and... Next Chris Kratt right here is going to read it to you. I'm going to help if he needs it, though. And maybe show you the pictures. Let's get started. What is found all over the world in different, in different habitats while hunts together in pairs or packs? Canids. What's a canid, bro? He doesn't even need me. He can show you the pictures. I'll be right back. They're in Africa. Here they are. Canines are a group of animals that, that includes canines such as wolves and coyotes. The group also includes wolfines such as foxes. They all have many features in common. There are about 36 different species of wild canids in the world. They are, they come in many different sizes. Chris says, Martin suggests, let's go meet some of them. There it is. I forgot to show you this picture. Here are all these different type of dogs. And you might not heard of this one. What's or, that one? Or this one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Fennec fox. Fennec foxes are the smallest canids that live. Canids. They live in one of the world's biggest deserts, the Sahara. They don't have to drink a lot of water. They get water from the food that they eat. That's what most creatures do when they live in the desert. Here's the fennec fox, and here's the crab brothers in the Sahara. Very nice. Bat-eared fox. Another big-eared fox is the bat-eared fox. They listen for insects to eat. They Then they lick beetles and termites right off the ground. Slurp. Yum. Yum. Termites. I love how you're tracking with your finger when you're reading there, buddy. That's a really good habit. Here's Martin and the bat-eared fox. And he's in his bad-eared fox power suit. See? Here he is in his bad-eared fox power suit. Now, this one's rare, you see. It might, it might look like a wolverine to you, but it's called the bush dog. The bush dog. It might look like a wolverine to you in case you missed that. And a fisher. And a fisher. Bush dogs... The South American bush dog is rarely seen. It can live in burrows or hollow tree chunks deep in the Amazon deep in the Amazon rainforest. These tough dogs share territory with bigger predators such as jaguars. Here's a jaguar. Here's a jaguar hiding behind the bushes to use his spots. And here's the bush dog. Might look like a wolverine or a fisher to you, but it's a dog. Since we all know what fishers are. You're doing awesome. I'm so proud of you. Red fox. The red these foxes live all around the northern half of the world. They can use their tail to keep warm in cold weather. Red foxes aren't always red. They come in different colors, like black or silver. You see, look at here's a mother red fox with her pups, and and they're playing with a wild hamster. Have you ever heard of that? Wild hamsters are what these guys eat in Europe. The European hamster. Dolls. Now that one is rare, and you probably never heard of them. Dolls are also called Indian wild dogs. Dolls are strong and fierce, but they work to but they also work together. A doll pack can have thirty dogs. Together dolls even take on big predators such as tigers. Now, that's a cool fact. Look at them. 
a, a pack of 30, and look. Here's a tiger, a Bengal tiger. Coyotes. Coyotes are medium-sized canids. Coyotes are very smart. They eat all kinds of foods and can live in all kinds of habitats. They can survive in hot deserts, snowy, snow-covered prairies, tropical rainforests, and, e and even cities. African wild dog. Now, these guys are, of course, relative to dole. African wild dogs are also called painted dogs because they each have one unique because they have one has each one has their own unique coat pattern they hunt by chasing prey across the savanna while the pack hunts one adult stays with, with at the stay adult always stays at the den to take care of the pup Oh, today's my turn, says Chris. They should make an African wild dog episode saying Chris is in, Af in his African wild dog power suit. See? Look. Look the puppies. Dingo! Dingoes are, live in Australia. They can all hunt alone and, or in a pack. They hunt both big and small prey, from kangaroos to, to rodents. Main wolf. No, these are these are some pretty tall dogs. Main wolves live have very long legs to see, so they can see above the tall grasses of their South American home. Ethiopian wolf. Have you, have you ever heard of that? They live in Ethiopia, Africa, in the mountains. Ethiopian wolf. This is one of the rarest canids. Wolf. These wolves survive in the mountains of Ethiopia and eat mostly giant mole rats. See, look, there's a little mole rat right there. Here's the Ethiopian wolf, one of the rarest and most endangered canids. Only with a few thousand. Arctic wolf. Arctic wolves are white and they blend into the snow. They, they eat small creatures such as mice and lemmings, but they also use teamwork to hunt bigger prey such as musk oxen. Keep running, wolf pack. Nice try, bro. Great wolf. Now, I've seen one of these great wolves in a while. And a fox and a coyote. I think those are the only wild dogs I've seen. Gray wolves work together in a pack when hunting prey or defending territory. They they use smells, body language, or sounds like their famous howl to communicate. A wolf hawk can start howling when he's eight week, when he's only eight weeks old. Ah, that's cool. And gray wolves are one of our top apex predators. Since they don't have very many predators. They do have one well they do have two predators. Humans and cougars. Like that cougar they saw on Gurney yesterday or two days ago? Yeah. Cougars. Apex predators. There. And by only that, they'll eat grizzly bears. Take down the baby. Foxes, wild dogs, coyotes, and wolves all have amazing creature powers. We love running with them free and in the wild. the end and we can see we have stickers yeah. most important part right stickers <laughs> that's thanks, all today thanks max i appreciate you reading for us hopefully the students enjoy it and, and make sure you read this book we love reading we love the wildcrats we'll see you soon woodbury thanks for checking it out and, and their wolf power suits wolf power suits i need more of those <laughs>